Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another reading. Y'all, is it me or is these people getting crazier and crazier every day? I keep seeing these stories about these young women. Their lives are being taken from them because of jealousy and envy. These ex-boyfriends don't know how to let go. These women taking these men out because they want to leave. Shoot, half of y'all divine masculines and your feminines ain't made no moves to you because they scared for their life, child. What I said. These folks feel like if they if they if they literally walking on eggshells, bro. Somebody is walking on eggshells. I feel like just just move on from whoever this person is. There's some kind of anxiety. Do not even wait for this person because you will be waiting, literally. This person is not going to leave. First of all, this person is being threatened. Somebody is being threatened in this energy. This could be you or this could literally be your person. Excuse me, Divine Femme Masculine, I'm going to feel like this is you. What else here? I don't feel like this you. I don't feel like this is you that's being threatened. I feel like this is your person. Man holding a coin reversal. This person, this person right here is afraid that they're gonna lose everything or they already lost everything or something. I heard the old switcheroo. Mm -mm. Child, this person is not in no relationship. This is prison. <laughs> This karmic energy is not going to let this masculine go anywhere. This person, for one, I feel like this person is too weak. They're weak as hell. Like, you deserve to have somebody that's going to stand up and fight for something. For what they believe in. You dig a rich dude? This person is not willing to do that. They're not willing to put up a fight. This person right here is being threatened. Archangel Uriel, goddess of the moon reverse. This person could even be threatening divine feminine. Unbeknownst to divine femme. Divine feminine don't know any of these threats are being made. This person, um... This person is going to simply stay away from this divine feminine because of this karmic energy threatening them. I'm trying to tell you. This person literally may have pulled out a weapon on this masculine. So this person let this motherfucker pull out a weapon and make them stay. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is funny because like what in the fuck? What type of life is that to live? Somebody is literally forcing this masculine to be with them. At this point, this bitch is a, a, a damn rapist and all kind of shit. This masculine does not want any intimacy or anything like that with this person. Everything that they do is by force. Wow, this is really sad. I'm not saying this shit long at all. What else is here? So, it's it's the simple fact that this karmic energy is not leaving. And, and it's not because of anything else other than this divine feminine. This this karmic doesn't want this man with you, fam. Storm warning, indecision reverse, goddess of the moon, financial constraints, magician in the mirror, all in the reverse. Deceit is in the upright. They don't want you with this person they were ready and willing to divorce this energy this masculine energy they were ready and willing to divorce this person i mean they were ready to leave they don't even like this person they don't like each other these people they live in the same house they walk past each other they don't speak and when they do it's an argument or some shit you dig a rescue and for the most part this karmic energy wants control I'm hearing black male. Triumph. Victory and success. Authority. Uh-oh. They hating on Phil. Oh. Phil. Buddy bitch right here is a hater. 
that's what this is it's jealousy it's envy they like okay well that feminine can have whatever they want but they not gonna get this masculine i'm not finna allow this masculine to go and be with that feminine so she can make her life complete <laughs> All the shit that these bitch thinking about is shit that she should not be concerned about is what I said. Child, this person should not be thinking about that. And for a lot of y'all, this masculine energy gonna risk it all and come towards you anyway. But I feel like, bruh, leave this person where they at, y'all. This person, man. I be telling y'all about the essence. See, this is a spiritual union. I feel like this person should have came towards you when they actually had the chance, when like way before. Like they should not have taken you for granted in the first place. That's what I feel. Because if they had not taken you for granted, they wouldn't have never met this karmic. And then tell me why this masculine homeboy in love with this feminine. This fuck nigga put this masculine on to this bitch. No, he knew she was a witch. I feel like this masculine friend is related to this karmi, and this masculine don't know. They related to this person some kind of way, and or they might have been fucking on this karmi. But this person is in love with you. Choose wisely. Rest and rejuvenate in the reverse. Goodness gracious! So this person can't even sleep. This person has been trying to contact you via telepathic communication. Is what I'm hearing. Beep. they're not able to get through they're blocked all their advances are blocked i don't know why this person's still trying to contact you they're trying to contact you and i i, I seriously don't know why because they're not going to leave this karmic. This person knows for sure balance, Libra energy. They know damn well if they come and move anywhere near you, they whole life going to be fucked up. This karmic is going to ruin this person. Well, they've already ruined this person, I feel. This, this karmic has already done too much to this person for whatever this is. They already did a lot. What else is here? Somebody walk around like a damn zombie. <laughs> Destiny in the reverse. This masculine missed out on this calling. This karmic has hit. This karmic successfully blocked this masculine from their. Um, I don't want to say wish fulfillment. I want to say their calling. Their divine journey. This bitch has blocked this person successfully. But see, the reason why you keep coming up is because this masculine is living in disarray and regret. They like, man, I should have been over there with that feminine. and Or I should have been over there with that masculine. They single. They can do what they want to do. And I'm over here tied down to this motherfucking blimp head, bitch. <laughs> nah, dead serious, bro. This person right here, I'm hearing the word heartless. This person don't have no love. Like, they don't they don't know where to get love from. Patience and plan in reverse. And your person is also... I don't want to say your person. Whoever the fuck this is, this masculine, okay? This person strung out on some that shit. This person is drinking every day, all day long. They're on a path to destruction. If this karmic don't destroy... Excuse me, this person, they're going to destroy themselves. Movement choices, decisions here, emotional loss in the reverse. For a lot of y'all, you could care less. You don't give a damn. As you should not. Okay, here, child. Look, this person right here, man. This person knew. They knew some about this karmic energy that they did not share with you. They knew that this karma was doing spell work on you and them. They didn't say nothing. I heard, I told you so. They may not have wanted you to say, I told you so or something like that. But I don't feel like it's a sense of, I told you so. It's a sense of making a person aware of something. E either way it goes, you're the high priest, the high priestess. You are already going to be aware of whatever this is. But this person definitely, they omitted some shit from you. They omitted the threats and all of that shit. Like, this person felt like they could handle something on their own. But I feel like they just gonna pay the price for something is what I'm hearing. Somebody letting that could be price. They're gonna pay the price for something. Meaning, they're just gonna... They're gonna stick it out with this karmic. For a lot of y'all, it's not because your person don't love you or something like that. It's not because of that. It's simply because 
this karma is threatening either you or them or both of you guys. Love begins here at the waiting game reverse hell. Don't sit around waiting on this person at all. Accelerate emotion, trapped in fear and disruption. As soon as this person comes towards you, it's going to be a problem. Because this karmic energy worked very hard. They worked very hard to prevent this relationship from happening. But see, it don't matter because I feel like you knew this masculine way before this karmic did. I feel like that, but it doesn't really matter. You dig a rescue? It doesn't matter who knew who first. This, this is a grown-ass man. But this person is up under a lot of spell work. I mean, to this day, even even though they know this karmic been doing spells on them, they still sit there and eat from their food, have sex with them, and you know shit like that. So, you know, you pretty much can let this person go on about they about their day. Wisdom, universe, suffering in silence, solitude. Yeah, this person is over there suffering. This person wants to be happy, but see, what they're not gonna do is be happy with you. They did a great job of. Fucking up y'all bond. There's no more love here. There's no more nothing here. You don't have anything for that person. They fucked this up. They fucked all of this up. Somebody wants to explain something. I don't feel there's anything to explain. They are not going to leave this person. I'm trying to tell you. And it's not because they rather be with this person. It's because they're literally stuck. They are literally stuck with this karmic. This karmic got so much on this damn masculine. This person doesn't have any power. They don't got no power. And this is a fucking coward. Very cowardice. This person will leave you out. They'll know something going on. They'll know this karmic can hold on did some shit or threatening to do some shit. And they'll just leave you blind to a situation. Not because they handling the shit. It's they'll just sit there and let something happen. Cause they like, well shit, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. Let me tell you, not only is this karmic doing spell work on this masculine, they're doing spell work on you. For what? You don't have any contact with this masculine. But this bitch is doing spell work on you daily. In fear that you connect with this masculine or something. But see, the true thoughts of this karma, this karma bitch think that this masculine ain't shit. So that's what I'm saying. Why are you trying to hold so tightly to a person that ain't shit? Because they know that they will reach their fullest potential by being with you. All this man do is cheat. This man cheats every time he gets a chance. I'm hearing this car. We got her own little side piece. Shit, she don't give a fuck. Long as he can make something come true for her. Long as she got his energy, she don't give a fuck what the hell he doing. This bitch don't give a damn, honey. She does not care. She'll accept anything from this man. And see, this masculine energy knows that you're not going for that. You're not that kind of girl. <laughs> what I said, fam, you ain't that type, honey. I don't got no type. Shit, me. <laughs> I got a type, baby. And it ain't this motherfucker right here. This person is weak as fuck. This is a coward ass nigga. This is a coward bitch. Like they literally, they literally know that this person has been doing shit to you and or threatening you. They didn't stand up for you or anything. <laughs> Cause I'm assuming <clears throat> them standing up for you is some kind of indication that they care about you. This karmic wants this man to hate your guts or something. For what, though? That's what I'm saying. Why in the fuck is this bitch so focused on this divine feminine? Sis talk all this shit about divine fem and then turn around and try to be exactly like this feminine. This bitch is the devil. This hoe could never emulate, embody your energy. Never. I mean, not ever. Sis could never do it. But these twin flames, whatever the case may be, bro, 
twin flame relationships are the hardest to actually be successful just because of the karmics. The kind of karmics. These are bitches that do not know how to let the fuck go. I mean, they do not know how to let go, bro. <laughs> very, very controlling energy I'm picking up. Very controlling, child. This is just sad. Serendipity in the reverse. This karmic has stripped this man from all his divinity. I mean, this man don't have an ounce of divinity. He needs to stay the fuck away from you anyway. I feel like if you even make contact with this person, you're going to start losing. It's best to just keep it moving, bro. Flexible to the sea. Flexible is in the reverse. Come to the edge is in the reverse. This karmic has done a lot of shit. And then it was... Most of this was to convince this masculine that you were not divine or that you were the one that was causing issues. Yeah, that's the truth of rule. Deep knowing in the fates. They were trying to make it seem like you were the one causing all the problems in their life. But I don't feel like you're worried about these people at all. I don't even see why the hell your name keep getting bought up in these old house. Like, that's weird as fuck to me. They have no spark or entertainment in their relationship unless they're arguing the fuck about you. <laughs> Excuse me. This karmic picks fights, arguments, and shit with this masculine only to go run and do spell work when the bitch knows she lied. This hoe knows she got there lying. Man, what the hell? That girl bad say Michael's course. <laughs> Michael's course. <laughs> hey, I got an RC crab, Michael. <laughs> Man, hell nah, rest of me that early for this shit. <laughs> Michael's cores. <laughs> M-I-C-H-A-E-L apostrophe is cores. <laughs> Man, y'all both need to quit y'all got that shit. <laughs> Man, hell nah, that shit big as fuck, too. This guy got that LED lights on that motherfucker bag. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Michael scores. Hey, <laughs> Mike, these folks, <laughs> these folks out here remaking your shit, bro. <laughs> okay, so Spirit just showed me that for a reason. Obviously, it's something very obvious that this person is trying to copy off you, but they cannot imitate you. They trying their best to imitate you. I know what the bag was supposed to mean. But it's a big ass apostrophe S on the bag. So yeah, that's not Michael Kors. Okay. <laughs> Man, I ain't never seen no shit like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. What else is here? Michael's Kors. <laughs> Man, it's too damn early for this shit. Fork in the road. So they stuck. I told you, Shada, this person stuck. It's it's like literally nothing that their masculine energy can do. It's nothing that they're going to do. They can't do anything. This, this karma has this person spiritually bound and physically bound to them, period. And this person think that there's, they're, they're satisfied with, okay, maybe next lifetime. Baby, it ain't no next lifetime. It ain't no next lifetime with this shit. New life. It's a new life. This, this feminine gonna live a long ass, healthy, prosperous, abundant life. This masculine done lost their goddamn mind if they think, you know, you gonna sit around and wait for them in this life or the next one. They're not gonna do nothing but do the same dumb shit in another life. This person is very hard-headed. This person was gifted, too. I heard if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, this person... But see, they were using their gifts, but for the wrong reasons. You think it's for real? They were using their gifts, but for the wrong shit. This karmic definitely made sure... 
it's just something about you, divine feminine, divine masculine. It's just something about you. This person puts up with this man cheating. But they like, you still watching that feminine? You still keeping up with that feminine? Bitch, that's something that this man got a problem with. This feminine don't got no damn contact with it, man. The fuck is wrong with you hoes? Why y'all bitches always go hate the woman? Bitch, you need to be checking this nigga. This feminine ain't checking for this raggedy ass motherfucker that's laying in the bed with you. This raggedy ass motherfucking nigga, this nigga done went raggedy. This this karmic drove this man raggedy. This is a raggedy bitch, and he's raggedy too. Thing one and thing fucking two. They both raggedy as fuck and nasty. So my thing is, just because this man keeps up with your life. This bitch, of, or, and then maybe this masculine energy trying to make it seem like y'all fuck with each other. You don't, you don't fuck with this man at all. It's been years is what I heard since you even spoke to this person. Concerned in the reverse. Courthouse. This person shouldn't be concerned with you at all. They should be concerned about these court dates. I keep saying this, bruh. Maybe this, I feel like this masculine may be trying to reach out to this feminine. Sis don't want to speak. She don't want nothing to do with it, person. In fact, this divine feminine already has a counterpart. So, okay, so that's what I was saying. The karmic doing spell work on this masculine and on divine fem. This masculine doing spell work on the karmic and on this damn divine feminine. The divine feminine the only one that ain't doing spell work. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This, this nigga... Fam, this nigga right here is literally doing love spells on you to block anyone from coming into your life. Because they feel like you're their property. What I said. They feel like you they damn property. This person feels like they own you. And they're refusing to let you go. It's my name, David. Tulum, Mexico is significant. Tulum, whatever the hell. This person just wants complete control of this damn masculine. That's weird. This nigga's not even about nothing. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, this person missed out on their calling a long time ago. And they definitely missed their chance with you a long time ago. It's somebody else here. This wealthy man keeps down flying out here. It's somebody else. They got a whole lot more going on. And it ain't got nothing to do with their pockets. It got something to do with their heart. This person definitely, excuse me, is here to love this feminine. And that's what this, this man don't want you to have real love because they're stuck with a karmic and they don't know. This person only knew love when they were with you. You think it you? They only knew love when they were with you. They don't know any, this, this karmic does not have any love at all for them. But this is what they chose. This is what I'm saying. This is a person that is, they, they don't know how to deal with their mistakes or something like that because this person is always fucked up shit. This is a fuck up. This person always chooses the wrong shit. And they always become obsessed with their choice. Like, damn, I can't get over the fact that I chose fucking wrong. You chose wrong. It's over. But see, at this point, this karmic is controlling this person. At this point, this all got shit to do with them. This karmic is controlling them. And they're also trying to control this damn feminine. Bitch, I feel like you need to get the fuck out of this feminine business, ho. This feminine don't want that raggedy nigga. Bitch, you don't even want that raggedy nigga. What I said. This hoe right here is stank. This is a stank bitch right here. This That's why this bitch body odor. This bitch has a body odor. This bitch cannot get rid of the body order because she keeps doing spells. This bitch punishment is to walk around smelling like fish <laughs> or whatever the fuck. They all smell like a sewer. Sis is toxic waste. And I'm going to just tell you the truth, the roof and masculine. This is stank hope. You wouldn't want no masculine that ever even fuck no hoe like this. This is a nasty ass raunchy bitch. And she fucks all these masculine friends. And or his homeboy. I mean his um family or something. 
these are the kind of people that love having niggas in their house. They love drinking and smoking, having a thousand niggas in their fucking house, and I don't know that this karmic bitch is, is sitting back scoping out which one she want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit, they're crazy. These folks finna end up in poverty and or they're already in poverty. Okay? Let me get a C-card and get the freak up out of this. Let me get my freak up out of this. Somebody about to go travel. Uh-oh. Y'all folks traveling and shit. Spending good bread right here, Phil Masculine. I know that right, boo. She's want to fight the vibe, Phil. <laughs> Girl, please. Over this nigga, girl, please. <laughs> Hell, dog. This person feels stupid as fuck because you don't even want this person. It's like they're trying to make themselves believe that you want this person. Or this masculine is trying to make this bitch believe that you want them or something. Somebody is keeping your name relevant in their house, period. Your light irritates their demon scarcity tactics. Like I said, this bitch is threatening this masculine. They're looking you up for fake accounts or something, too. Trying to copy off of you, but they can't. Oh, child. Somebody having nightmares. Can't sleep. Family issues. Sure. Somebody lost their damn car. This bitch right here sending a lot of evil eye. This is a whole lot of evil eye. Clout hungry, extra trigger, yeah. They want your clout. They want your status, your abilities. They don't have it. They're not ever going to be in this position because it's yours. That's what I'm saying. As hard as you fought to get to where you are right now, you're not just going to let no bitch come in and take it from you. That's what I'm saying. You ain't going to let no nigga come in and take shit from you, masculine. <laughs> you fought a lost their damn mind. Whatever issue that these hoes and niggas having in their own house, they need to correct that shit within their own house and stop involving you. That's what I'm saying. Y'all folk don't even y'all don't even live nowhere in this state or in this damn country anymore. And you still got people with your name in their motherfucking mouth in their house and shit. Arguing about you and shit. Making up lies about you. And it's only for some kind of um egotistical satisfaction is what I want to say because it's got something to do with somebody's fucking ego and this masculine energy loves bringing your name up to piss this karmic off the only thing that can really truly piss this hoe off is bringing up your name and trying to make it seem like y'all fuck with each other and this makes this person go do even more spell work this karmic is doing spells and this nigga is too I mean he's a karmic too but I'm saying karmic as in this karmic feminine and this masculine, they're both doing spell work, okay? I'm going to leave it here to my fan masculine. Remember that guy loves you, so do I. Bye, guys.